Hi there everybody, it's Anna here today. Um, like every month, today is the day for my um, February wrap-up video and uh, I'm going to show you what I created with my February Wild Hair Kids February um, Petite Kit, which is the smaller one and I had been combining some of the product, pulling things from my previous kits like stencils and leftover papers and leftover embellishments so this is not totally only created with um, February kit but also has bits and pieces from previous kits added to it because I had um, basically just the washi tape and acrylic uh, pieces by Bramble Fox as well as these, hold on, these little papers by Truly, uh, by Pink, Pink Paisley from the Truly Grateful collection in my kit, in my favorite kit. So I had to draw some uh, embellishments from previous kits, which was totally fine because I still have some things left. So that's for what these petite kits are for. They are for uh, just adding a little bit to be combined with what you already have and then you uh, can um, you know reduce your stash that you have been piling when you order kits you always are left with some bits and pieces and then when you do it like this that you order a smaller kit in between then you can always work from the previous piles of papers and embellishments that eventually are left over from from your previous kits and that's what I did on this uh, this month's uh, projects, mostly. Okay, so let's start. This was my very first layout for this month, and this is the um, I followed the monthly sketch for this layout, and I've added some paint into the background, some uh, stencils, stenciling with um, texture paste, and uh, I've got some ink splatters going on there. Um, then I have papers from uh, this month's kit. These are all by the Truly Grateful collection by Pink Paisley. And then I have uh, Dear Lizzie and um, Flower Market by, who's this by? Um, not Crate Paper, uh, Cartabella, yeah. This is Cartabella paper, sorry. And then embellishments by Dear Lizzie and, and um, these are the Bramble Fox uh, acrylic embellishments that came with my February kit. So I've just basically layered, layered everything on top of each other, done a little bit sewing with my sewing machine and then added some thread and, and inks and all kinds of mixed media fun. And I also used the Maggie Holmes uh, washi tape sunny days collection washi tape here. I really really like the colors on that one So I still have plenty of this left and I'm going to use this until it's over I really really like the colors here and Like I said, this is the first layout and on the background by the way, um, that's my um, From my own stash a cardstock piece because I never get cardstock in my kits and I actually don't even want any cardstock Delivered in my kits, so that's totally my choice so I've ju I'm just adding what I have at home. So that was the first layout. Then the second one is again um, created on a white uh, cardstock piece from my stash. Then I've added some distress paint onto the background, some um, Studio Calico Mr. Huey um, spray inks. These are also from my own stash, really old product, but still works fine. And then I've got some truly grateful uh, two by two pieces uh, here. These are from the February kit. Also these papers by Chimel are from the February kit. All of these here and on the background. Then the alphas are from my December and from my January kit. And these um, Bramble Fox acrylic embellishment pieces are from my I think October or November kit but from a previous kit. And yeah that's the white space layout where I left lots and lots of white space there. It was a fun one to make. Haven't been doing this type of layouts for a long time and it, it felt really good. So probably going to do a little bit more into this, this direction as we proceed with the spring season. 
And this is my third layout. And this was a scrap lift. So I scrap lifted uh, Brandy Davison's layout that I shared on my blog. And I combined lots and lots of bits and pieces from previous kits for this layout. And um, this cut file is also by uh, the Wild Hair Kits, but this is, um, I think this was November. And I uh, cut a few additional uh, pieces of this one, smaller and bigger ones, and I wanted to use it eventually at some point. And for this layout I find the perfect spot. And this paper here is from my um, February kit, that's the Truly Grateful Collection by Pink Paisley. And I really like this race here, so I um, took the idea of creating a layout with rays that Brandy had done. Um, that's what was uh, my basic scrap lift idea. And then I just added all kinds of bits and pieces. This is a specialty paper by Pink Paisley from the Again and Again collection that uh, came, I think it was in my November kit too. So I fussy cut these triangles here and adhered them onto the layout. Then I added some clear stickers by Stamplerations. That's another um, design team I am on. That's um, mainly stencils and stamps. Uh, and I have also my own stencil line at that company. And um, these clear stickers are by them. Then I have these lovely Brand Bullfox um, acrylic pieces here. And these are from the February kit. Then I got, got some Jen Hatfield stickers here. These were also um, from a previous kit that I had. These were leftover pieces and, that, and I find that they really work with this layout idea here. This paper is again from this month's kit, uh, again by Pink Paisley. Then I have these journaling cards here and these were, these are by One Canoe too, and these were also in a previous kit. So I've been adding lots and lots of little things from previous uh, kit leftover um, stashes, let's say they are stashes. And um, yeah, that's the layout um, done for the scrap lift challenge that we do monthly with the design team girls and it's a lot of fun and I hope you also um, get inspired by these and also join the scrap lift challenge. It's a lot of fun to do. And then there's one more project that, that has not been shared on the Wild Hair Kids blog yet but I thought I'd still show it to you. Um, inspired by this layout and by this paper because I had a second half of rays left over and then I had another picture of my son, I did a double page. So I did a second layout that looks like this and it has basically the same products going on there except for the clear stickers. I used this Maggie Holmes washi tape on this side. Then I added this again and again, uh, again, and again uh, pink paisley specialty paper, this vellum paper. Then I added the Heidi Swap um, alphas that were from my uh, January kit. These were also in my January kit. This is um, Dear Lizzie by American Crafts. This is One Canoe Two tags again from my previous kit and then these Bramble Fox hearts that were in this month's kit. So it's basically the same idea just the other way around and when you combine these two together in an, into an album you get a cute double-sided double page layout. And I haven't been doing these for ages and ages and it was so much fun to, to create one. And that's it. These are all the layouts that I did for this month. And um, now to the products that are left over. I've, I've got, it was a small kit because it's a petite kit and I still have so much product left over. So I've got so many of these 2x2 two two papers by Truly Great full collection. Then I've got plenty of this washi tape left over. Then I have this piece of Schimmel's paper. Uh, I think this is the field trip collection. Then I've got um, this lovely paper by Office Hours. I just used one word so far and I'm going to scrap with this one definitely. Love this paper, so I have um, an idea of what to use this for, and this is coming very soon. 
then I've got um, these two pieces by Bramble Fox still left over. I've got the cut file. I've already matted it with this truly grateful paper. So this is in the works already. Then I have um, another strip of this field trip paper by Shimmel. It's quite a lot still. And this lovely paper by Shimmel field trip is still also to be used. I've just pre-cut a little piece away because I am planning to work with this one. So it's basically the whole sheet is still left over. As you can see you can go so long with just a little bit of paper. And then I've got one more sheet of paper, totally untouched. And this is the Pink Paisley Truly Grateful paper number 24. And I still already have a plan for this paper too, so definitely going to be used still. And um, that's it, that's all that's left over from my February Petite kit. There's nothing more, just two sheets of paper, three almost full sheets of paper and a few strips of this one. And um, now to the unboxing. Uh, tomorrow is going to be unboxing day and I am not going to be able to do an unboxing video because of reasons that have uh, I cannot um, change. Um, my kit uh, got shipped on time and for some reason instead of going to Austria it went to Australia. So um, it is now somewhere in Sydney. It has been there since the 27th of um, February. So it will probably not make it for March. So my March kit will probably arrive in April. We'll see. And um, because of the situation, uh, there will be no unboxing video from my part for this month, for the month of March. There will only be this um, wrap up video. And then what I thought is I'll be sharing projects with this leftover kit for March. So I will be creating one or two layouts with this uh, leftover product and also will be drawing because I still have lovely, lovely product left from the January kit. So I will be using these. Then I've got um, quite a lot of product from August. So I will be using those. And then I still have lovely alphas and papers left from November 2019. So I will probably be doing a combination of all these things and creating one or two or three layouts. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm so sorry that it turned out this way, but like I said, there's nothing uh, Alison could have done or nor I could have done because when it goes uh, all the way around the world, it takes its time. So when I get my March kit, I will for sure show you what it looks like and then I will be creating with that kit. But as it is, it is in Australia at the moment. It might take a few weeks to get here, so who knows? Maybe it will be here in April, we'll see. Uh, so that's the plan, that's the plan B for, for next month. Uh, because there is no way I am going to be able to get, get another kit for tomorrow for the unboxing, so I'm very sorry for that. But I still have plenty of fun product to, to create with, um, to share product, projects with you throughout March. So I should be okay. And um, there's another thing I am preparing for uh, surgery. Uh, I had an, a little accident in January and I finally got an appointment to, be, uh, to go into the hospital um, mid-March. So... Um, you will probably see um, projects, um, project shares until then and then there will be probably a two weeks pause because I will not be able to, uh, I will be walking on crutches and crunches and um, yeah, so walking, moving around will be difficult because I get a knee surgery so 
as soon as I'm going to be on the mend and when I'm able to walk again, then I will be sharing more projects. So there will be a little pause, maybe of one or two weeks, until I'll be back to normal procedure again. So wish me luck and I hope you enjoyed this wrap up video and um, hear you soon again with projects with this February kit and my previous kits. That should be fun to see what I can create and how I can combine those, all of those together for a project share or, or two before I go in, into the hospital. So I wish you a nice uh, March and we'll be seeing you around soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.